guys. Today I'll be test driving the Sport Shift 2 gearbox on the Aston Martin or you know in general the Sport Shift gearbox um, which is quite nice and yeah let's just start the car up. So initially you'll see that the neutral light will be flashing um, in the neutral mode here. Uh, this means the gearbox is not yet ready. Um, now the light's firm red which means it's ready to drive. It's in learn mode and the ASM pump is primed. So without further ado, let's just set off now. So you'll notice you hear sort of, um, not grinding, but a mechanical, sort of straight gut, um, straight cut sequential style noise coming from the gearbox. Seven speed gearbox, so seven speed single. 
lot of um, V8 Vantage owners can opt for at an additional cost and a, a lighter flywheel so you have less power loss when shifting. Um, but yeah, that was designed to handle the extra torque and the inertia and power on the V12. So the V8s obviously, um, you know, they don't need the uh, twin clutch plate disc, but those I think are a little bit smoother. The 2 has a revised, I think, ECU and stuff or gearbox management system, so it's slightly nicer than the earlier sport shift gearboxes, which were sort of complained about a bit, and um, not a lot of people understood how they drove really, because it's not really an automatic, but it's not a manual, it's sort of, um, yeah, a bit of both really. Um, it's a very interesting gearbox, but um, yeah, you've not even got a creep function as well. You have to do everything yourself. You just tap the accelerator and it rolls a bit and now it's stopped. Um, it is literally giving it a little bit of power and same as reverse it operates just like a manual it's like you've obviously not got a clutch pedal but the gearbox isn't doing anything you've got to tell it what to do so you accelerate a bit it creeps it but otherwise reverse or drive there's no creep function Slow at those. 